What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another episode of 7 Days to Die. We are just doing a part two of the Juju Bear Seed series. So if you guys do enjoy this video, make sure you hit that like button, leave a comment. Let me know that you're enjoying it so that I can keep filming these videos for you guys. But if you did watch my first part to this, you would know that we are in a very dangerous town. I feel like we have a unordinary amount of zombies, lumberjack zombies in this town for some reason. So, um, like more than any other snowy, like biome town that I've been in before. So we do have to be very careful. I plan on trying to go catch this pig as soon as morning hits at six. And then I want to try to get into this bunker over here. Um, we're going to have a couple of lumberjacks definitely around the sides that we're going to have to take out, which I'm not too worried about. See, we got a second one here. There's just a lot of them for some reason. Like, I know we're in the snow area. There's a lot in the snow area, but there is a lot. But if you guys see, this is a huge, huge, huge city. <laughs> so there's a lot of it that we haven't explored yet. I've only explored maybe a third if that. So um, I want to try to get as much done as I can today and try to move through this town a little bit. We do need to find a cooking pot for sure. Um, I also need to probably make a run over to the water source and just fill up a couple more glass jars when we can. So, let's try to take out this guy. Okay, we just gotta be careful, that's all. Any more arrows? Any more stamina? So much that I need. Just gonna hang out here for a second, hopefully get some stam. Keep forgetting we don't have arrows. Just want to try to bring down the zombie count a little bit if I can. Like these lumberjacks are just everywhere. Okay, we got a cooking grill. That's a good start. I just need a cooking pot. skill points do I have? Hopefully that will let us do a little more damage. Okay. All right, so we've got one out of five on Pummel Pete. That's good. All right, let's see if that pig is still over here. He's probably not. Probably despawned. OK, 
Okay, we got an engine. I'll take it. Pig is gone. That's okay, though. Alright, I'm just gonna slowly walk. Uh, we can save our stamina. Because we are gonna need it. We definitely want to take out these guys because as soon as I start banging on stuff over here, they're gonna come over. If I had arrows, this would be so much better, but I don't have enough stone. So that needs to be another thing that we do today. I came prepared, guys. I came prepared. Came prepared. Water supply is getting low. There we go. Perfect. Works out great. I don't know what that was. I missed. Sweet. Gosh, I haven't found those in a while. Got the facial piercings. Now we look real badass. Let's take out this guy while we're over here. Anybody causing any kind of trouble while I'm over here, so take them all out. Even you, lady. Oh, there's a couple of them back here. I gotta be careful. She got out. All right, come on, naughty nurse Nancy. That is not the way to get out, my friend. Jesus. All right. I'm actually gonna drink that. What in the hell? I don't know how that just happened. It's weird. Okay. Gotta stop wasting time. All right. My goal is to break this down. He's a little too close for comfort, so... God, there's just so many of them. Alright. Where did he go? What? He died? You guys, what is going on? He was literally just walking around. And now he's dead. I mean, I'll take it. The gods of seven days to die are uh, speaking to me. We've 
got a good food supply going on, so I'm happy with this. We'll have some, you know, a good water supply going on too once I fill up these jars. We do need a cooking pot though, like bad. But I know there's one down in this bunker, so that won't be a problem. Actually don't need these. Okay. So we've got what? 11 meat. That's freaking awesome. Okay. So we can make a bunch of bacon and eggs. And I'll end up cleaning out all this stuff later. Actually, you know what? If we could get through here. I'm gonna try it. I've never tried to break in through this, so I'm gonna stop the video here, guys. And once I break in, we'll start it back up and see what we find in here. All right, guys, we are officially in the bunker. Um, I was gonna show you what I did, but I kind of just like fell through the ceiling and came down here. So I took out the metal grate that was outside. Underneath that, there was some iron bars that I had to take out. Then there was another set of iron bars right here. So it took a really long time, literally all day long, but the good thing about it is that we're completely safe right now as far as I know. So the vault door is still intact. I'm going to leave it that way. I'm sure they could get down here if they wanted to. But I don't know how that would really work with the like the stairs and then the like metal plates on top of the stairs. I don't know if they can get through that. So I'm just going to say that I'm safe. Um, what I'm probably going to do is combine day two and day three into one video just because I feel like day two, I just spent most of it banging away at grates and hatches and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, I don't want to like include all that stuff in the video. So as far as like actual content, I don't have a lot for day two, but Day three, we'll do more. We will have the whole city to explore a little bit more. That's my plan anyways. Um, and then I do need... Actually, let me go do that now. I'm going to go set up. We've got a cooking pot here. Nice. So I'm just going to throw this here. Oh, there's actually two cooking pots. Right? No, there's... There's just one. I'm just being crazy. Alright, so we're going to put one of those in here. We can put our cooking grill or, yeah, cooking grill in there. Um, make all of our bacon and eggs when I put wood in there. And then we'll have two bottled water that we can do. So I need to go get more water, that's another thing. And then I might save these. Try to get some more eggs that we can cook. The bacon and eggs. Cause we're at 60 right now, so we actually need those. All right, so that is good. Let's see what else we got in here. Got another bottle of water. I'm just gonna throw all that stuff in here, which I think we could actually use a little bit of water. All right, so we'll keep that there. Hopefully we can get a bunch of jars out of these. Some pie. A 
Fan soup. All right. Just gonna keep all the food in here for now. I could actually put it in the fridge, but I'm not gonna do that. So, <coughs> sorry guys. I know that was probably loud. Bless me. All right, I searched all this stuff. Um, I'll finish searching this while you guys are here. And then we'll cut the footage and move on to day three. I actually feel pretty good in here, though. It's going to be a pain in the ass to get out of here, though. Like, I'm going to have to just build wood frames to the point where I'm up there. And then build more wood frames, but I don't know. I feel safe, so. And in this town, that's what I need. To feel safe. Lots of glass jars. That's awesome. Alright, we got another bottle of water. So we're doing okay. I just gotta grab more water tomorrow. And then I think I'm gonna take out this table, put down some storage chests. That way we can just get a little bit off of our inventory. Make room for new stuff. I'm actually going to make two of these because we have room for another one. Bingo. Alright, so... I guess all the clothing items I'll put down here because we're going to need those. Football helmet we can always use to make another mining helmet if one of our friends joins us or if I die and lose mine and can't get it back for some reason. Um, put all this stuff in here. I'll put some of my iron in here. Not all of it. I do want to start a garden. So I'll put my seeds and stuff like that down here. This is going to look atrocious, but it will come along, I promise. Definitely hear zombies outside. Um, 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 um. I was trying to think here. I think the rest of it I'm just going to put all in here. Start putting our gun parts together. Uh, that's going to go in the main, the main chest, which is here. Um, and I guess we'll just put our medical stuff down here. Normally I have a separate chest for everything. I'm so OCD. Like I have a separate chest for medical, separate chest for general, separate chest for like gun parts, then separate chest for ammo and guns. Like I'm so bad. All right, that works. And a separate chest for mini bike parts. Can't forget about that. I'm going to make another one of these. And then I should actually make another one of these just because they're a little bit stronger. I always like to have a backup just in case because we if we get into a situation where there's like 10 zombies <laughs> and I don't have time to sit there and wait for another weapon to craft. 
I like being able to just scrap this one and pop this into my hot bar really fast. So keep that there and then we'll be good to go. So I'm going to end this part here, guys. And then um, in just a second, you will see that we'll continue on with day three. All right, guys, we're on day three and we've got zombies. Oh, my God. It's still nighttime. I don't know if they can get down here, but they are beating on something. So, um, I'm trying to think of where I hear them at. I mean, it sounds like they're in the yard above us. And if they broke a door down, it's just going to be, um, actually, I don't even think it was a door. I think it's just the metal platings on the fence. So I think they're out in the yard. But if anything crazy happens, I will continue filming. I know it sounds scary out there right now, but I don't think that there's any way for them to get to me. So hang tight guys and hopefully we make it until morning. <laughs> I just realized I have not checked any of this yet. So hopefully we find something good. We've got leather there, we need that. All right, we'll take that. Red sweatshirt, that should keep us a little warmer. They definitely know we're here. <laughs> God, they sound so close in my headset. It's crazy. All right, so we've got a bunch of clothing. We actually have some clothing for the warmer biomes, so that's good. Just in case. Just want to get all these searched. If I die down here, it's really not that big of a deal because we have our bed up on top of the um, popping pills, I think. So we've got until six o'clock, guys. Wish me luck. <laughs> All right, guys, we're about to come up in the backyard. I am a little nervous because I don't know how many of these guys are out here, but. We just gotta be fast. Alright, so they did a little bit of damage. Got a deer there. Lots of activity, it looks like. I'm gonna get out of here so I can have a better view. right now that needs to be a priority today for sure so we definitely had a little little crowd no lumberjacks though from the looks of it I'm surprised didn't go for the wood. Hmm. 
That would have been the easiest way for them to get in there was to just go through here. But see, if you look, I'm under those plates in there. So I don't even know if they have a way to get through those. Um, I honestly think the safest thing is just going in and out the way that we are right now. It's kind of a pain in the ass, but I don't know. I feel like that's just the best thing to do. So right off the bat, we are going straight for water. Just because we only have one jar left at the house. And <coughs> we need more. Mr. Lumberjack up here. You know what? Let me get some of these real quick. Okay, we got some chainsaw parts. Awesome. Grab a couple more of these. All right, I'm gonna skip right past these guys. We're gonna go straight to the water. I did get some wood and some stone. I don't have a lot of stone, but I have, you know, enough for basic little things. So we'll definitely have to go on a stone run soon. But the problem is I can't really do that during the nighttime just because we're in a dangerous area with all of these guys. So I'm probably just going to have to spend like a whole day just getting stoned during the daytime. But that's okay. Not that worried about it. I can craft some more arrows when I get some more feathers. So that's another thing. So we need these guys. Oh, I did not even see him here. Hello, sir. Don't mind me. Okay. And we don't have a lot of water, but as long as we keep refilling our jars, we'll be fine. Hoping he just bleeds out and dies. Dude, no, don't go in the water. Dude, if a lumberjack came over here right now, we'd be screwed. Ooh, that was perfect timing. Okay. All right, so we got some more food. Fill up our water, okay. All right. Mini bike tires, nice.
I wanted to go to the trader today, but... Mm, I think we're going to go through the city instead. I feel like that's a better idea. Because I want to start getting parts for the forge. I got to build a workbench. want to start working on mini bikes. Um, I don't really think I want to stay here permanently, so I also want to start traveling a little bit too. Let's see what we can find in the city. five arrows so I still need more feathers I feel like I'm not finding that many <laughs> definitely need to go for that airdrop Where do we want to check first? We've got the bank, but that's not a priority to me right now. Um, oh, yes, dude. Die. No. He's so close to being dead. Come on, just die. Oh my god. I'm gonna spend all day chasing this deer. That was a terrible shot. Did he just die? No, he didn't. Why is he not dying? Come on. My shots are terrible today. He's so close to being dead. Shit. Shit, dude. Come on.
of a bitch. Trying to get my deer. Leave me alone. All right, nine meat. That's cool. I'm going to shred these because we already have some. Do I even have shoes on? Oh my god, I don't have shoes on. All right, we have got to search some shit before this day's over with. Not really worried about the motel. That's cool, we have one though. Let's go over to working stiff. Let's see what's up with that shit. Got company. Holy shit, we've got company. All right. Okay. Okay. This is why I always have a backup ready to go. I do not back down in zombie fights like this. I will kill them all. I don't care how long it takes me. Watch my back. Come on. It's so snowy, I can't see any other bodies right now. I knew that was gonna happen. That's okay though. Running out of stamina. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Are we clear? I think so. Some water, nice. All right, let's fly through buzzes real quick. And then fly through the working stiff tools. And then by that time, it will be time to go back home. I'm not even looking at what I'm grabbing. I'm just going quick. Is this cloth? Yeah, we'll take all this. Just in case. I'd rather have leather, but you know. Gotta work with what we got, I guess. Be careful. It's probably... Okay, no landmine. this 
All right, buzzes is done. There's probably a safe in there somewhere, but we don't have that kind of time today. Unfortunately. Come on, let me in, let me in, let me in. Oh, come on, you bastard. It's that stupid filing cabinet. There we go. I'm trying to move too fast. right now people fuck okay we'll get more paper I really want to keep that so I can start a garden we've got one fucking arrow I don't really know what that's gonna do so okay also not taking this pop this down here okay Nada. Okay, that one's good. We got a hard metal door and a chainsaw blade. That's sweet. We've got the chainsaw parts. That's dope. I've never actually had a chainsaw before in this game, I don't think, which is insane, but... Mechanical parts. We need those bad. Real bad. Well, we're having to throw some shit out, but also getting some good stuff, too. back here real quick. I need that. No, I don't want to throw that out. Might even get rid of some of those sunglasses. I forgot I have those. I only brought them because I wanted to go to the trader. gotta be so fast oh my god <laughs> we may even have to come back I don't know because I don't want to start throwing out like good stuff I'd rather just make a second trip back here Got company not far away that I can hear. Another one. Oh my god. Okay. Um, 
Let's just get rid of all these, honestly. Come on, Stone Axe. I don't have time for you today. I really don't. Dude. Nice. I've never seen fertilizer here before. I don't know why I haven't, but okay, we gotta leave those here, unfortunately. And nothing. Okay, so we will come back here for those. Or honestly... Chuck that, chuck this, because we do have some garbage too on us still. All right, that works for me. So that's our inventory. We've got two, two garden hoes. We got the claw hammer. We've got, I think, well, okay, we just have one iron pickaxe. We've got the fire axe, two fire axes actually, chainsaw parts, mechanical parts, shopping basket. We've got a lot of good stuff. Two hard metal doors, so those will come in handy later on. And we need to go. Alright, so we didn't get a lot done today. We got working stiff done in Buzz's bar. I do want to go through that motel now that I think about it because they probably have a lot of leather in there. Um, still need to go through the poppin' pills, I think. Bob's Cafe. I'd like to find a wrench here soon. I'm on almost day four with no wrench, so we need that. Um, maybe we'll check the cafe. No, we gotta do it. <laughs> we gotta do it tomorrow. I was gonna say we could do it today really fast, but we don't have the space. Um, okay, my house should be, it's right here. Because my bedroll's on top of the poppin' pills. I need to remember that. And then we are staying diagonal over this way. So, we do this. Am I? Okay, I gotta take one more out. This is a, a real pain in the ass, you guys. But I feel safe in here. Okay, and now we're down in the bunker. Door is still intact, has not been touched at all. No other way to get in here besides through the hatch up in here. And I don't think they're going to do that. So I think it's a pretty safe place. But I'm going to end this video here. So it should be a combination of day two and day three. I'm going to try to shorten it a little bit and take out like, you know, the parts where I'm just hitting a rock or whatever. So that way you guys don't have to sit through that. And then I'll probably just go back to doing like each day is a new video. That's my plan anyways. So like day four will be a new video. But if you guys are enjoying this series, make sure you hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button for more seven days to die content. Leave me a comment. It's, it's actually Thanksgiving now that I'm filming this. So I hope that you guys are having an awesome Thanksgiving with your family. I love all of you and I will catch you in my next video. Bye guys.